Hey guys, welcome to Love 59 Videos. Today we have a two for one. So we have a crank sensor that has gone out and pretty much you're digging into the timing belt area. So we're actually going to be doing a timing belt. This is a 2005 Honda Civic with the D17 in it. And what it's doing is it's not pulsing the fuel pump. So we got a couple of other issues. But getting to the crank sensor only makes sense. This car has got 224,000 miles on it. It's never had a timing belt on it or water pump. So we've got both going on to it. Um, here's the water pump part number you're going to need right here. This one a tough one part number uh, from Advance. Then we also have a Deco belt. And the part number for the Deco belt is that right there. Now the other thing that I noticed on this car is it's got a front oil seal leak on the crankshaft. And this is the part number. It's a little kit right here. And this is by Felpro. So we're going to go ahead and be doing all that on this car. Get this knocked out. It's about a three or four hour job, so this is going to be two parts to this video. One of them is just the tear down. You're going to have to take off the power steering pump, get the belt off. You're going to have to take the alternator loose to get that belt off. You got the front timing covers, uh, you got to get them out of the way. Harmonic balancer, you got to get out of the way. So you have to jack the car up, get the wheel off. So let's go ahead and get started. For your power steering pump, you got two 12 millimeters. After you loosen, I take this out with a 10 millimeter right here. Right on the back side of that is a 12 millimeter, and then straight down, right in there, you can barely see it. That is another 12 millimeter. Once you get those loosened up, you pretty much can get your power steering belt off uh, relatively easy. So let's go ahead and get that off. That's your first belt you've got to get off the car, and then from there, we're going to take and uh, we're going to get the alternator belt next. So now we got that off. Let's go ahead and get to the alternator. Now as you see, I went ahead and removed the power steering pump. You just lift it straight up. Um, actually gives you pretty good access to the bolts for the, um, the alternator. Now the one to loosen it up is a 12 millimeter. It's down below. You get access to it from the wheel. The other one is a 14 millimeter up top. Now just to show you real quick, this is the bolt right here you have to loosen up. That's the 12 millimeter. Once you loosen that up, it's pretty easy to get it belt off down below. So the next up is, uh, like I said, sitting the uh, timing. Make sure we got it ready to go. Once you get those two undone, just loosen the wing nut and then pull the belt off. Now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sit this car to top dead center and make sure that um, I have a weird suspicion he possibly could have jumped a couple of teeth. And that's because it's roughly sit top dead center and it didn't line up on top. So we're going to go and pull out the spark plugs and we're going to make sure it's at top dead center and then we're going to see where the uh, marks line up. So let me show you. Now getting the spark plugs out is pretty easy. Uh, one of the things you want to do is go ahead and sit, if you've done it this way, sit the power steering pump just out of the way. Sit it right back over here. And then you're going to need a screwdriver up here. Pop these, turn them up, and the cover comes right off. All right. Next up is you got a 10 millimeter right here. We're going to go ahead and get that removed real quick. Okay. Once that's out, we're going to lift it up just a tad, then we're going to unplug it and pull that off. All right. Once you pull this out, just slide it back. All right. Now we got. Now we can got. Uh, now we can go ahead and pull out the spark plug. Bolt back real quick. Now, as I started breaking it down, like I said, the car had stopped running, and now you can actually see. The right side of this camshaft is up and the left side is down. It looks to be about two teeth off. Um, and that's enough to send some weird signals back and forth between the cam sensor and the crank sensor. So, like I said, we're already in here doing a, um, a um, timing belt anyways, but that is, I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good reason why this would have shut the car down. Anyways, let's go ahead and get uh, this off and get the rest of it broke free. So next up is we're going to be supporting the motor and pulling the motor mounts off. Now getting your crankshaft bolt off sometimes can be a pain in the butt. Now sometimes I will use a actual 
chain wrench and wrap it around the harmonic balancer right there that'll help now when they're really stubborn you're going to need a tool like this right here um, you can pretty much go up to a O'Reilly's and rent it and the part number for that when you walk in is a 67101 it's about 55 bucks you can rent it and return it when you're done because I tell you what this one's uh, gotten around some salt water had a little bit of rust and corrosion and this bad boy was on there now once you break it free you got to go back through and make sure you get the timing reset I'm going to show you when we get it off here you can also check the time it underneath this so let me get this off here and then I'll show you from there now pretty much once you get the bolt out you can reach right up in here and just start wiggling and it should come right off let's see what we got there we go that's out of the way and now the keyway came out with it or the Woodruff key some people call it so you gotta make sure you have that now once we get this cover off right here as you can see the bright side right there is broken it's been rubbing up on here so let me get this cover off and then I'm gonna show you the other timing mark now I will say one of the worst parts of doing a timing belt on these motors is once you remove this uh, the motor mount bracket right here you actually have to drop the alternator forward and remove that bracket right there that actually you have to get off just to even get to the belt so we're going to remove all that stuff in the front and get it completely set up for um, part two of this the actual putting it back together and getting it all set I'm going to show you the bottom timing uh, mark and what you got to look for we also have to reset the upper uh, gear back to um, where it's supposed to be alright at this point you've got a couple bolts down there once those two are removed you have two more right there there's one right above that one right there that you can see I can't get the camera and show you once I get these four bolts removed we can go and pull this bracket right on out and we'll have the access we need I'll also show you all the pictures in the other one of everything you need to see for the timing marks how to set them same with on the bottom so let's go ahead and get the rest of this removed and uh, we'll finish up with uh, this being the end of uh, part one